Shalom, shalom, Israel, most high Christ, bless. You are tuned in to 15 Minutes with a Captain. I'm Captain Gannon to my right. Officer Uriel. And all praises, shalom, shalom, shalom. We're going to get right down to it. Today's class is called, There is Sin in Your Pillow Talk. There is sin in your pillow talk. For you brothers out there that like to talk to your wife, on your pillow. Things ain't going your way at school. Things ain't going your way in leadership. You gonna go home and tell your wife everything. Stop pillow talking. It's sin. Mm. Get Philippians 2.14. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 14. Come on. Do all things. Do all some things. Do all things. God says do all things. Without murmuring. Without murmuring. And disputing. And disputing. That's what you doing, brother. You murmuring. You are murmuring while you pillow talking. Your wife is your counselor. Mm. Your wife is your leader. You got to go back with your loose lips. uh, You got to go back loose lips Jefferson. That's what you are. You got to go back and tell your wife everything was going on in the body. Everything was going on with the leadership. Everything that you got a problem with. Every time you get corrected, you got to go tell your wife. You a pillow talker, man. You a pillow talker. Brother Cunning, you for counsel. You got to tell your wife. Your wife know about everybody's counsels. Your wife know about everybody's issues in the body. You a pillow talker. You done miss a sin. That's murmuring. Not only that, but that's so in discord. Read it again. Philippians chapter 2 and verse 14. Go ahead. Do all things without murmurings and disputing. God says do all things without murmurings. Jude 1 16. For you pillow talkers out there. Go ahead. Jude chapter 1 and verse 16. Mm-hmm. These are murmurers. These are murmurers. Complainers. Complain. Ooh. Complain all the time. Stop complaining so much. Your number one ear of your complaints is your wife. And some of y'all brothers ain't even married and you and you pillow talking already. Some of y'all ain't even married. You proving the sister. And you pillow talking. The sister know everybody been there. Sister know all what's going on leadership. She ain't even your wife. You already simping. You simping pillow talking brother. Read. These are murmurers, Go ahead. complainers, complainers, walking after their own lust. Walking after your own lust. You can't close your mouth. You can't hold, you know what I say? You can't hold water. You just got to tell somebody what's going on. Why are they doing me like this? Why? You're a sip. you pillow talking sip. First Corinthians 10 to 10. Your pillow. pillow talking is sin, y'all. But understand that pillow talking is sin. First Corinthians 10 and 10. First Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 10. Go ahead. Neither murmur ye. Neither do what? Neither murmur ye. God says, don't murmur. Stop complaining so much. Something happened to you. The first thing you do is complain. You can't wait to complain. You can't wait to murmur, gossip, backbite, lie, deceit. You can't wait. And you can't wait for it to be that sister that you can tell to. You say that sister is your leader. You a simp. You on the verge of actually becoming the woman. You ain't a man no more. You are the woman in that relationship. <laughs> the woman's supposed to go to her husband for an ear. Not the husband go to his wife and reveal everything was going on. There's nothing I can do. That's right. Everything I do. You a pillow talking simp. That's what y'all. Go ahead. Neither murmur ye, as some of them also murmured. Go ahead. And were destroyed of the destroyer. Y'all don't think the Lord going to pull your card from pillow talking. The Lord will pull your card. The Lord will pull your card. Wonder why you can't find a precept to love anymore. Wonder why you at Camp 101 and you don't know what's the, uh, uh, the precept for uh, uh, knowledge it take you 35 minutes cause you pillow talking 
The Lord ain't dealing with you. Pull up the video. Hey, bro. Do Chinese people play regular checkers too or just Chinese checkers? Oh, they don't play either. What? They play a whole different game. What they do is they use the abacus because it's a mathematical situation. So you use the abacus and you get a pendulum swing, right? And then you have to get, well, uh, you, you have to put Tiger Bomb in between your, your wrists right here, right? Mm -hmm. and after you get your Tiger Bomb, it gets warmed up and then you go and you shoot these colors. The colors are red, green, and blue, I believe, because that's what the colors that's on the abacus, right? And then they use polka dots. Polka dots, that's a game? No, it's called Dragon Dots. What's up, baby? Hey, sweetie. I thought you wouldn't come home to 10 o'clock. Oh, Simone wasn't feeling well, so we decided to skip the movie. Oh. <sighs> Daryl. Janine. Baby. You like her? Like who? My woman? Yeah. Yes, yeah, nigga. I love her. Why? There's way better bitches out there. Here's the thing, she ain't a bitch. She's my queen. Y'all niggas need to be cool, man. Baby, you want me to cook or you want to just order in? Shit, you might have had a long ass day, so I'm gonna let you decide that. Okay. I really want to cook. I'm, I'm sorry, did you? Did you have something to say to me, Daryl? No, I'm doing important things, looking on Instagram. Oh, you must be looking for a new job. <laughs> I know you lost another one. What is that? Four jobs in three months? Why can't you keep employment, Daryl? I mean, you got fired from orientation. Who can't make it through orientation? And this last job was, was Chick-fil-A. All you had to do was learn how to pass out chicken. You can't pass out chicken, Daryl? Damn. Non-job having That's why Sandra left your ass. Because you couldn't keep a job. And you couldn't keep your dick hard. She was tired of you trying to put your little soggy gummy worm up in her Cheerio. Damn. That shit got played out real quick. She might as well take that nah. ring off because that relationship is a rapsy, scapsy. You can't keep a job. You can't keep a woman. You can't keep your dick hard, but you can keep peeing in the bed. Who pees in the bed until they're 30? Yo, little nasty ass. I'm surprised she stayed with you so long after that whole stripper pregnancy scare y'all had. Shit. And a trips to the clinic over and over again. Nene, All stop. That cranberry juice you got to keep drinking. I mean, damn, did the affection ever clear up? Oh, nigga. Hey, baby, hey. I'm over here looking like a black burn ass meal house from The Simpsons. Damn, baby, what's wrong with you? What? Why would you tell him all that shit? Because it's true. I know it's true, but he's not supposed to know that you know the shit. I told you it wasn't confidence. Well, then you should have told him to shut the fuck up in confidence. You're not supposed to tell him the shit that I tell you. Let's go f*** up our friendship. I don't give a f***. I don't even like this nigga. Over here looking like a black-ass Morpheus. Don't. You can't tell him the shit that I tell you. That's going to f*** up everything. He's not going to trust me after this. Well, then you shouldn't have brought him over here. Then I wouldn't have to say the stuff that I know that you weren't supposed to tell me that he's not supposed to know that I know. So this is your fault. So go apologize to his All right, that's it. That's it. Excuse the language, y'all. Hey, but this is how some of y'all brothers are. Some of y'all brothers, y'all, y'all, hey, if y'all wife told the truth of what you tell them, oh, that would mess up Mark. everything. That would mess up all your relationship. You done told your wife about this brother, that brother, <laughs> hell, the leader of the camp, this brother, his wife, this wife, this sister, this counsel. This is how some of y'all brothers are. You sipping pillow talkers, man. How your wife know everything? She don't reveal every aspect of this brother's of, 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 of this brother's life. Some of y'all wives know more than the leadership know. You go tell your wife things that you won't even tell the head of the camp. You sipping pillow talking brother. Give me wisdom of Solomon 1 to 10. Give me wisdom of Solomon 1 to 10. Sipping pillow talking, bro. Then you, then you, you, you murmur and gossip against the leader of the camp to your wife, mm. not thinking that the Lord gonna reveal that thing. Like the Lord ain't gonna shine a light and pull your card. Wisdom of Solomon one and ten for the simps. Wisdom of Solomon chapter one and verse ten. Go ahead. For the ear of jealousy heareth all things, mm -hmm. and the noise of murmurings. Is not hid. The noise of murmurings ain't hid. Go ahead. Therefore, beware of murmuring. Beware of murmuring. Pillow talking. Beware. Come on. Which is unprofitable. Which is what? Unprofitable. It's sin. 
which is sin. Come on. And refrain your tongue from backbiting. Refrain your tongue from backbiting. God said that's backbiting. That's gossiping. That's murmuring. That's unprofitable. It's sin. Come on. For there is no word so secret. There is no secret, read, that shall go forth. That shall go for not. God said ain't no secret that you ain't going to be held accountable for. Ain't no pillow talking, no murmuring, no gossiping that you ain't going to be held accountable for. Go ahead. And the mouth that belieth slayeth the soul. And the mouth that lies and slanders slayeth the soul. You're going to be held accountable. Micah 75. Micah 75. For you pillow talking brothers out there. The sister knew everything about the brother's life. You, you you got issues with brothers. You don't even do what Christ tell you to do and go to that brother alone. You go to the woman. Right. I got a problem with brothers. I got a problem with captain. I got a problem with officer. I got a problem. Hold on. Wait a minute. As a wife, you supposed to be in the spirit tell your husband or tell that no good brother you proven that, hey, you supposed to go to that brother. You supposed to go to them. Don't come to me. Go ahead. Micah 75. Micah chapter 7 and verse 5. Trust ye not in a friend. Go ahead. Put ye not confidence in a guide. Read. Keep the doors of thy mouth. Keep the doors of your loose lips. Go ahead. From her that lieth in thy bosom. God says keep your doors closed. Keep your mouth shut from your wife. Keep your mouth shut. And some of y'all got loose lips to sisters you proven. Y'all ain't even married. And you already loose lips Jefferson. Already pillow talking, blabbering like a little female. That's an effeminate trait, man. <laughs> pillow talking is an effeminate trait. Ecclesiastes 10 and 12, and we out. Ecclesiastes 10, 10 verse 20. For you loose lips Jeffersons out there. Ecclesiastes chapter 10 and verse 20. Go ahead. Curse not the king. No, no, not in thy thought. Curse not the king. No, not in our thought. Read on. And curse not the rich in thy, in thy bed. Curse not the rich in your bed. Read on. For a bird of the air. A bird of the air. Shall carry the voice. Shall carry the voice. And that which hath wings. Go ahead. Shall tell the matter. God says, I'm going to get that. I'm going to hear it all. A blue birdie going to take that what you thought was secrecy and take it up to God. And guess what happened to you? The Lord going to shine that light on you. Now you're going to have to deal with it. So yes, pillow talking is sin. It's murmuring. It's backbiting. It's gossip. It's unprofitable. So all praise to the most high. We go in it right there. 15 minutes with a captain. I'm Captain Gadda to my right. Officer Uriel. And with that we say, shalom. shalom. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth. <laughs>